It's another NYCHA nightmare ahead of Thanksgiving. An entire building in the Bland Houses in Flushing is without gas. And if that sounds like a holiday story you've heard before, it's because we've told it before. This year, a different family is struggling to celebrate. As Current News' Jessica Easthope reports, they say their Thanksgiving meal was ruined before it even began. A watch pot never boils, and I'm going to be watching it forever. Lindia Bittler does Thanksgiving big. But without gas in her Bland House's apartment, holiday plans have been canceled. A single hot plate isn't going to cut it. I want to do a turkey. I usually do either lasagna, baked macaroni and cheese and stuff like that. And I can't do that on that hot plate. Lindia and her neighbors in this building of the Flushing NYCHA complex haven't had gas for a month. They were given a hot plate and crock pot to hold them over until repairs to a gas leak are made. But Lindia has a family to cook for, four children, all with developmental or physical disabilities. NYCHA says this is good enough. I got kids I gotta feed. It's taking a toll on me. We tested just how long it would take the hot plate to bring a medium pot of water to a rolling boil. I'm starting a timer right now. On a stove, it takes anywhere from five to 10 minutes. Almost at nine minutes, it's still not bo boiling. Almost 19 minutes, it's still waiting. Able to see some movement now. It took the hot plate 23 minutes, and Lindia worries she'll be waiting much longer than that. She heard her gas could be out for six months. It's really not acceptable. It's like, what am I supposed to do? What can I do? Lindia says she's waited for months for a response from NYCHA on work tickets. It's coming down like a waterfall. For mold. There. Leaks. Over here. Holes in her walls. Same thing. Cracked ceilings. And Lindia's biggest concern. And they were running, running, running. The rats. 30 in three days. Hounding them, hounding them, hounding them. Hello, I have a rodent problem here. I was really, literally about to pack up and leave. Lindia says her issues have become an emergency. She's even taken NYCHA to court. At this point, she expects Thanksgiving to come and go. The ongoing problems there has really tested my faith a lot. If they don't have the gas on, it's going to be just another day. After Currents News reached out about Lindia's issues, NYCHA said they're working with her to schedule necessary inspections and repairs. In Flushing, Jessica Easthope, Currents News. The nightmares at NYCHA were the focus of an exhibit in the Bronx. 20 people who lived in the public housing were interviewed and photographed for the Speak Out exhibit at the Bronx Documentary Center. It depicts the years-long struggle to secure better living conditions for the residents. While the exhibit is now closed, you can read and see more of it in this week's tablet. The paper also marks an important anniversary in American history. 160 years ago this Sunday, President and Abraham Lincoln gave the Gettysburg Address, the historic speech that paid tribute to those who died in the bloodiest battle to ever happen on U.S. soil. Many of those soldiers had a strong Catholic faith. In fact, before the fighting began, a priest absolved more than 500 of their sins. So be sure to pick up a copy of the Pat tablet at your local church this weekend. You can also support Catholic journalism by becoming a member. To learn more about it and find out everything you can get with your donation, just go to the tablet.org slash become a member. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news.